My name is Arius, and I play games. In today's video, shout out goes to Jarsh. Thanks for your support, my friend. Now you have one more subscriber. In one of my previous videos, we talked about a move that allowed you to reset your high block. In today's video, we're going to learn how to properly swing past your opponent without getting stunned. Some of you may be wondering what I mean by this, and that's completely okay. Allow me to break it down a bit. When in combat, you can either use a magic ability or a stamina ability to harm your opponent. You can also use a regular attack and a block to do damage. When swinging for a regular attack, you hold down the attack button until it fills up enough for you to release. At that point, the opponent will either take the hit, do a low block, or a high block. As we learned previously, if you swing at a low block, both you and your opponent will take some damage. But if you swing into a high block, you will get stunned. So how does swinging through your opponent help you avoid getting stunned? Well, for starters, when you initiate a regular attack, you can continue to hold your weapon back as long as you want. Sometimes, this is an effective strategy for baiting an opponent to use a defensive skill or drop their high block prematurely. However, if your opponent sees it coming, this can leave you in a rather vulnerable position. But don't worry, if you swipe downwards, you can cancel your attack. This is a pretty well-known fact as the game includes this bit of knowledge in the various game tutorials. However, to swing past your opponent is something that is not commonly known. The idea is to show your opponent that you are attacking, making them believe that you are vulnerable. So imagine their surprise when you swing past their high block multiple times. If you can force them to drop their high block, then that will open the fight for you to take advantage. In my last video, I showed you what gear I use for my speed build. Swinging through your opponent's block will definitely help you trick them into a defenseless position so you can unleash that celerity fury. So how does it work? It's actually quite simple. Allow me to show you. First, note that you will have to position your button over the player's head as soon as you let go. Tap the other side of your screen with the opposite hand. Keep practicing until you can swing through your opponent without getting stunned. So while it appears like you're swinging through the opponent, you are actually swinging over their head. But remember, you have to catch the swing on the other side with your opposite hand. I'm not sure if there's another way to do this advanced move, but I do know that I have only gotten it to work by using this particular method. If you know of another way to get this to work, please let me know in the comments below. Try this technique out on skeletons, whites, or any other warrior type mob. You'll see that they become quite easy to trick. Mostly though, this is an advanced move used by the top 100 players in the arena. There are many situations where this technique gives them an advantage. One is if you're fast enough with the technique, it can be used to reset your high block. Yep, that's what I said. This is another way to reset your high block. If you want to know more about that, check out the link in the upper right corner. This is the video where we first showed you how to reset your high block successfully. When it comes to the overhead swing, this move can help you trick your opponent into thinking that they will be able to stun you when you swing through. By making them block and swinging through it, their next move is usually very predictable at this point. And remember, predictability means certain doom in the arena. Always keep your opponent guessing. And that's how you use an overhead attack to swing through your opponent. Practice this technique well, as it will definitely give you the extra edge you were looking for in the arena. My name is Arius, and I play games. Cheers!